and welcome to quest zero today we will look into the features of octave and how to write the transfer functions in an octave of the control systems so when you open the octave you get a very familiar interface that you see in a matlab so on the left you have the browser to browse into the files that you want to look into and on the left you also have the workspace wherein all the values of the variables that you put in will be denoted and also you'll have this command history showing the commands that you have run before on the right side you have a command window where you can write the commands and also if you observe on the bottom you have an editor wherein you can type your program and while saving it you can run the program and check for any errors and debug it so this is what the simple introduction to the interface of a control system as so an interface of a octave are so we'll now look into how to begin with writing the transfer functions of a control system the very first thing that i do is i'll change my directory to a new place or a specified directory so that all the work that i do will get saved there so i'll go to desktop to create a new folder so i'll name it as octave i'll select that particular folder and i'm done so my current directory is what i have created so that any work that i do will get saved in the current directory so in order to run a program of an octave you need to be in that particular specific directory to run it so there are two ways now i can use the editor to create and save a file but that will be taken up in the next session now i'll use only the command window to show you how to begin with the writing of transfer functions of a control system so the very first thing that you need to do is you need to load the control system package in octave so this is not though they are installed they will not be loaded by default so the very first thing that you do is you need to type the command pkg load control and press enter you are done so now the package of control systems or control engineering as we say it is now loaded now we can begin writing the transfer functions i have taken six examples to show you how the control systems transfer functions can be written in an octave the very first function if you see it is just 1 by s where we call it as a simple uh, or the pole at the origins i'll name it as g1 and tf small t small f denotes the these tf represents the transfer function and once you have done that use small bracket and inside the square bracket there will be two square brackets that you will be putting with a comma separating them the first square bracket represents the terms in the numerator the second one represents the terms in the denominator now since in the numerator we have only s to the power of 0 term present so we'll just represent as 1 we we'll move on to the second or the denominator denoting square brackets in this s to the power of 1 there is a very a coefficient for s to the power of 0 there is no coefficient so s to the power of 0 is 0 no coefficients for s to the power of 0 but for s to the power of 1 there is a coefficient with the value of 1 so i'll represent 1 representing the coefficient of s power 1 this s power 1 and i'll give a space and i'll write the coefficient of s to the power of 0 since there is no term present i'll represent i'll represent it as 0 and if i put enter i'll get the transfer function as 1 by s yes. and if you observe the value of g1 is now getting 
updated in the workspace now i'll proceed further to the second i'll use the same function g1 you can give it as g2 if you want to it will give it g2 we will proceed further tf give a space comma one bracket representing the numerator the other representing the denominator so one representing the numerator if you observe the functions that we have taken it has in the numerator s to the power of 1 with its coefficient 1 and in the denominator s to the power of 0 with coefficient 2 so if you do this s to the power of 1 we have a coefficient 1 and s to the power of 0 there is no coefficient so i'll put it 0 then i'll move on to the denominator where s to the power of 0 there is a coefficient 2 so s by 2 next for the third function it's 4 by s plus 6 so s to the power of 0 coefficient is 4 s to the power of 1 coefficient is 1 s to the power of 0 in the denominator coefficient is 6 so g3 transfer function bracket comma brackets square brackets wherein the first bracket represents the numerator the second bracket represents the denominator so in the numerator s to the power of 0 it is 4 reconfirming so s to the power of 0 is 4 in the numerator s to the power of 1 is 1 in the denominator and s to the power of 0 is 6 in the denominator so 1 comma 6 and once you are done so 4 by s plus 6 so we will take a value further fourth function s plus 2 and s plus 5 where s power 1 values are coefficient values are 1 in both numerator and denominator s to the power of 0 values in the numerator is 2 and 5 in the denominator so i'll write this as g4 two square brackets and small bracket so in the numerator s to the power of 1 is 1 coefficient and s to the power of 0 is 2 and in the denominator again 1 s to the power of 1 and s to the power of 0 is 5 okay if you observe when you've done this the tf transfer function is missing so unless you give tf you will not obtain any values so i'll redo it and there is a command if you do some mistake and you, if you want to bring the commands that you have given before it happens in both in matlab as well as in octave if you use the up arrow the immediate previous command will be present if you press further the up arrow you will get the commands which were there before the present command that you are going to put so you can toggle between the up arrows and the down arrows to determine the function and you can edit them suitably so i'll now give tf function so s plus 2 by s plus 5 so next g5 so it has s to the power of 0 coefficient 1 in the numerator s square coefficient 1 in the denominator 2 for s power 1 and 6 for s power 0 so tf small brackets i put two brackets denoting the numerator and the denominator in the num numerator is just 1 in the denominator s square value is coefficient value is 1 s to the power of 1 value is 2 space s to the power of 0 value is 6 so 1 by s square plus 2s plus 
six. The last function, g six, you have again two brackets to represent the numerator and the denominator. In the numerator, s power one value, you have the coefficient to be one. S to the power of five coefficient is one. S to the power of four coefficient is one. S power one is also one. You don't have any coefficient values for s cube and s square plus two. So what I'm going to do is one. So s power zero is zero. There is no term present. And then s to the power of five value is one. I give a space. S to the power of four coefficient value is also one. I give a space. S to the power of three value is zero. S to the power of two value is also zero. S to the power of one value is one. And the final S to the power of zero value is two. So you get S by S to the power of five plus S to the power of four plus S plus two. So this is how we begin writing the transfer functions. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the next session, wherein the block diagram reduction will be dealt. If you do like the video, do subscribe and press on the bell icon for continuous notification on the videos that gets uploaded. Thank you.